Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Top 12 Financial Mistakes to Avoid Lessons from the Experts. So make sure to watch the full video. Introduction Financial management is a crucial aspect of our lives, and avoiding common financial mistakes can significantly impact our financial well-being in future. To gain insights into the world of sound money management, it's essential to learn from experts who have witnessed both triumphs and challenges in the realm of personal finance. In this video, we will delve into the top 12 financial mistakes to avoid. Drawing wisdom from seasoned financial advisors, successful investors, and individuals who have achieved financial stability through smart decision-making. Financial mistakes can be detrimental and hinder our progress toward financial freedom. By understanding these pitfalls and the strategies to avoid them, we can proactively take control of our finances and build a solid foundation for a secure future. 12. Overspend Great wealth will be lost $1 at a time. Grabbing two mocha cappuccinos, going out to dinner, or ordering a pay-per-view movie may not seem like a big deal, but every little thing comes together. Withdrawing just $25 per week will cost you $1,300 per year, which could be used for additional credit cards or direct debits, or more bonuses. It's important to avoid this mistake if you're facing financial difficulties. After all, if you're only a few dollars away from closing or trading, every dollar counts more than ever. To compare yourself to others It's easy to see what others are doing and get frustrated when you're not on the same level. But the investment is personal. Your income, expenses, job, personal responsibilities, etc. nobody knows. All of these can affect your investment. One of the biggest mistakes is trying to give your investment back to someone else without knowing all the relevant information and trying to get the same return," said Kevin Matthews, who, author and founder of investment education company Building Bread. There are many factors that determine how much money you can make in the stock market, including when you start investing, how long you hold it, and how much you start. 3. Try to time the market Most people have heard of the buy low and sell high advice. But how do you know when low is low enough to take action? So investors try to time the market by buying and selling investments when the right time appears. The problem with trying to time the job is that the perfect time is nearly impossible and the perfect time never comes, Pascarella said. Matthews agreed. Trying to schedule work to avoid loss and return at the best time is almost impossible to do the same thing, he said. Committed to this type of investment, called cost averaging, means that you don't make mistakes in deciding where to put your money. 4. Endless Payments Ask yourself if you want the things that will make you pay each month, year after year. Things like cable TV, music services, or college memberships may require you to pay regularly, but leave you with nothing. When you're short on money or just want to save more, creating a leaner lifestyle can go a long way toward increasing your savings and reducing financial stress. 5. On Credit Using a credit card to purchase consumer goods has become the norm. But while more and more consumers are willing to pay double digits for gas, food, and many other items that disappear without paying their bills, doing so is not good financial advice. Credit card interest rates make things more expensive. Sometimes using a credit card can mean you spend more money than you earn. 6. Buy a new car Millions of new cars are sold each year, but few buyers can afford to pay in cash. However, not being able to pay for a new car also means you can't afford a car. After all, being able to pay isn't like being able to afford a car. In addition, customers borrow money to purchase cars and pay interest on depreciable assets, which is the difference between the value of the car and the purchase price. More importantly, many people change their car every two or three years and lose money on every transaction. Sometimes it takes a loan to buy a car, but how many customers want a big SUV? Such vehicles are very expensive to purchase, insurance and fuel. Unless you're pulling a boat or trailer or need an SUV for a living, buying an SUV can be a bad idea. If you're looking to get a loan to buy and slash or buy a car, consider buying a car that uses less fuel and has lower insurance and maintenance costs. Cars are expensive, and if you buy more cars than you need, you risk eating up money you could save or use to pay off your debt. 7. Spend a lot of money on a house When buying a house, bigger doesn't have to be better. If you don't have a large family, moving to a 6,000-square-foot home means more expensive taxes, maintenance, and utilities. Want to make long-term cuts to your monthly budget? 8. Use the house balance. Like a piggy bank to get money back, and withdrawing money from your house means giving ownership to someone else. In some cases, it may make more sense to lower your interest rate or refinance and pay off your high debt. 
but another option is to open a home equity loan PLOC. This allows you to use your real estate like a credit card. This could mean paying an unnecessary amount of money to secure the property. 9. By monthly income In June 2021, the personal savings rate for American households was 9.4%. Many families depend on wages and unexpected problems can easily hurt if not planned. The consequences of overspending put people in a dangerous position. They need all the money they've earned, and it would be disastrous if they missed the payment. This is not the situation you want during a recession. If this happens, your options are limited. Many financial planners recommend depositing your quarterly debt into one account so you can withdraw money quickly. Losing a job or changing finances can destroy your savings and put you in a debt payment cycle. A three-month grace period can be the difference between keeping your home and losing it. 10. Not investing your pension If you do not work for yourself in the market or other income-generating investments, you may not be able to work. Making a monthly contribution to a retirement account is crucial to a healthy retirement. Take advantage of tax-deductible retirement and slash or employer-sponsored plans. Know how much your investment should grow and how much you can afford. If possible, consult a qualified financial advisor to match your goals. 11. Debt Payer Savings If you are paying 19% of your debt and receiving 7% of your pension, swapping your pension for debt may mean that you will pocket the difference. But it's not that easy. Besides not being able to make a good profit, it can be very difficult to pay your pension and you may face huge costs. With the right mindset, borrowing money from a pension can be a viable option. But even the best planners have a hard time saving up to build that money. When paying off a debt, the urgency to pay it often disappears. It will be very dangerous to spend money at the same time, which means that you can fall into debt again. If you want to use your savings to pay off your debt, you must live as if you owe your retirement. 12. No plan Your financial future depends on what happens now. People watch TV for hours and surf social media, but spending two hours a week on financial management is out of the question. You must know where you are going. Make it a point to take some time to plan your finances. Outro In conclusion, navigating the world of personal finance requires vigilance, education, and the willingness to learn from others' experiences. By heeding the advice of financial experts, recognizing potential financial mistakes, and implementing wise strategies, we can steer clear of common financial pitfalls and pave the way to financial success. Remember, financial well-being is not solely about accumulating wealth, but about adopting a holistic approach to money management that aligns with our goals and values. By taking the time to evaluate our financial decisions and seeking guidance when needed, we can confidently embrace a path toward financial prosperity and stability. Let us embark on this journey with knowledge and determination, making sound financial choices that will lead us to a brighter and more secure future. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.